Well, good Monday morning to you. It is going to be another gorgeous day here in western Montana. The heat continues across the, the region with highs back into the 80s. We'll continue to see the sunshine, but a couple more clouds expected into the afternoon hours. And then tomorrow, we've got some big changes on the way, including a cool down and a little bit of rain in the forecast. So what we're looking at today is we've got this upper level trough, and that's bringing us the chance for some scattered showers up along the Canadian border this morning. Uh, we'll, steer, we'll see them up in the Kootenai cabinet region up along the Canadian border, maybe even a couple thunderstorms into the afternoon hours. But for the most part, it's going to be a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine with highs warming up into the 80s again. 82 for the high in Kalispell. 87 in Missoula and 86 for the high in Hamilton. Uh, just to kind of put this into perspective for what you're seeing, we've got 86 for the high in, uh, 88 for the high in Florence, 87 in Drummond and Phillipsburg, 90 for the high in, uh, in Stevensville, 87 in Sealy Lake, 82 for the high in Thompson Falls and Eureka, 88 for the high in Plains. So here's your perspective. You can see we're into the 80s here in western Montana, 87 for the high in Butte, 88 in Great Falls, but there you go, east of the divide, it's hot over there. 8, 101 for the high in Billings today, 105 for the high in Miles City. And that heat just continues into the plains. We've got highs, uh, 104 for the forecast high in Denver today, 109 for the forecast high in Phoenix. So that heat just kind of uh, plummeting the west here in uh, western United States. Now with this, we also have gusty winds and low humidities that we're expecting today. So we do have a red flag warning. Uh, this is for the southwest corner of the state. That's down into the Beaverhead area noon to nine today gusty winds gusting upwards of 35 miles per hour with low humidity seven to 15 percent the perfect ingredients uh, to get those wildfires spreading and what you're talking about here is uh, since we're not expecting much in the way of storm activity these would be campfires that get out of control so if you're headed out today and starting up those campfires make sure that you're keeping control over that fire so that it doesn't spread and cause one of those fires wildfires uh, spreading all across western United States, so it's really important that we pay attention to what's going on there. Temperatures tonight falling back into the mid to, uh, into the 50s overnight. Nice dry skies through the overnight hours, maybe a couple of thunderstorms as we head towards that midnight hour. Tomorrow, though, as we head into the day, we've got uh, dry, uh, wet conditions moving in. We've got this cold front that's going to move through and that upper level trough still kind of lingering over the northern Rockies. That's going to bring us those scattered showers, even a couple of afternoon thunderstorms as well. On top of that, Cooler air mass moves in behind that cold front, and so our temperatures going to drop into the 60s, and that's actually going to help our fire weather a little bit with that rain and those cooler temperatures here in the northern Rockies. As we take a look at your future cast, you can see those scattered showers again lingering up by the Canadian border, then through the rest of the day, partly cloudy skies, a beautiful afternoon. Then tomorrow, we start to fire up those showers again, especially through the morning hours into the afternoon. We start to see those thunderstorms develop as we warm up through the day, but again, our highs not going to warm up too much, only into the 60s and 70s for your Tuesday. So dropping about 15 to 20 degrees from Monday to Tuesday. Windy conditions expected for your Tuesday as well. Gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour, so some blustery conditions. But by Wednesday, sunshine builds back in full force. We're still lingering in the 70s, but by Thursday, warming back up into the upper 70s to the 80s and 80s expected for the weekend.